We're here in the Mediterranean for Project Baseline, a global underwater explorers initiative, and we're do documenting the uh, aquatic environments along our path. So we've got a pretty interesting sub dive today. We're going to use two submersibles and a deep water GUI dive team. So we're excited to be able to place another uh, Project Baseline buoy and try to get a good assessment. We'll be using the two subs and the five divers to cover a pretty good section of the sort of top 400 feet of the seamount. And so we'll be getting collecting samples, uh, taking pictures, shooting uh, video, and we hope to get a great documentation of this really amazing place. And on the area that we were exploring, we saw a lot of algae coverage on those walls. And we saw some black coral as well on the walls. And we did some, uh, uh, we collected some samples for our uh, colleagues here in the Azores. Well, one of the coolest things that we can do, these corals were studied to, were used to study pollution. So if you go to a harbor area and you collect one of these corals, it, something like this will probably have at least 50 years. So you can analyze the different rings and you can actually get the baseline. That is the whole idea behind this project. And you can say before there were a lot of boats and before there was a lot of industry, the characteristics of the water were such, such and such. And from that you can extrapolate how this site should actually look in real life. So this is actually a baseline record that we have here in front of us. Yes. The difference here, it's such a fast shift that the species don't have time to adapt to it. Because before we were talking in scales of shifts that happened over hundreds, thousands of years. And now we can see shifts in 10 year periods, in 5 year periods. And this is simply too fast for the animals to be able to adapt and change their distributions or create defenses so that they can deal with these uh, changes in the environment. GUE training made my uh, dives, my scientific diving, uh, a lot more comfortable and uh, the fact that the, the dive itself, the training is so solid and the dive is so comfortable, the data that I can collect is much more um, uh, reliable. Scientific diver is a really well trained diver and with a lot of experience and knowledge about the environment and the uh, diving technique. This helped me to be a GUE diver, so training not only in equipment but training also in knowledge about make practice because one of the pillars of GUE is make practice. So don't be a diver only with plastic card but be a diver every day. And what we want to to do with the data collected by the GUE divers is to support um, a, marine, a marine protected area proposal for the red coral area here in Portugal to protect at least part of the red coral reef. For us at this moment it's very important to be here with the global underwater expedition especially because we don't have the knowledge about what goes below the 50 meters depth layer and it goes until 1000 so this is precious the information that we are just going to collect in the next few hours it's uh, fundamental to be more knowledgeable of the things that occur around Princesa Alice Bank a unique place in the world so project baseline first is not only for expert divers but also is for recreational divers that you can dive everywhere that they can give us the possibility with documentation to monitor the the, the health of our sea.